Lessons Live. Tech genius and excellent experiments. Magic and mayhem. Facts and fun. And today, check out how to do this. Wow! Wow! Over to Stacy and Seth. Seth, I know one of your favorite things is making explosions. Please tell me in today's experiment we're making an explosion. Yes, we are. Yay! Today we're going to be making a fountain. For the experiment, we'll need baking soda, vinegar, a spatula, food coloring, a funnel, and a bottle. Let's get started. So first we put in the baking soda. Let me hold the bottle. And we're gonna put it up to like here. Oh my gosh. Let me try to empty some of this. I <laughs> just shake it. Ooh, it's snowing. Fine. Now for the second part, we're going to put in the food coloring. Use the spatula. Yeah. The scoops. What color do you think that is? Red? No, it's orange. I really? know it. It looks like red. Wow. Let's put a little. And you don't need to mix. Then now we're going to use the funnel. So I'm going to hold the funnel and then he's going to first. Put Oh Safety yeah, goggles. goggles. Because scientists look awesome with goggles. Goggle girl. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Now you put and them. now it's time for the eruption. <laughs> Here we go. Wait a second. Okay. Let's go. Three. Hold it up a bit so that when it starts pulling. Three, two, one, go. Oh my god. Okay, put it, put it. <laughs> Whoa. Ah! Oh. <laughs> it was orange. Yeah, it is. Whoa. Vinegar. I smell it. That was cool. Yeah, very cool. Can we add more? Oh, let's add more. <laughs> very good. More, more, more. Very fast, very fast, very fast. <laughs> very fast, very fast. Very fast. <laughs> ah! It's exactly like a volcano. Yeah. Wow. So, Stacy, how does this work? The baking soda is the base, while the vinegar is an acid. And when they mix, they form a solution that breaks apart into carbon dioxide and water. Yeah, this creates the fountain as the carbon dioxide escapes. Wow, this was really fun to make. And you should try it at home. And tell us how it goes in the comments down below. Like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. This is Stacy. And this is Seth. And this was Sema's Lab. Lab. See ya. Aren't you just tired of blowing up all these balloons? Yeah, and look how much we have left. Wow. I wish there was a way out. Luckily, there is. In today's experiment, we're going to be blowing up balloons with vinegar and baking soda. So, the ingredients are a bottle of vinegar, baking soda, a funnel, and of course, the balloons. Yay! Let's get started. Okay, so first, you want to take the funnel mm -hmm. and insert it into the balloon. Just like that. And then you're going to put some baking soda. So put a little by little and then you shake. So that it can go in. I think that's enough. Yeah. Okay, so now the next part. Mm. You put the balloon on the bottle. So it's going to be very hard, so we're going to remove our gloves. Only for this part. So we put the balloon here. So we expand the balloon. Put it like that. <laughs> oh my god. You need some help? I think I got it. Okay. Ha! Then we're going to lift the balloon. Ready? One, two, two three. three. Ready. Oh. Whoa! Whoa.
think it's going to be <laughs> You just didn't get it a little bit. Oh, look at that. That was so cool. Oh it saves God. time. <laughs> so, Seth, how does this work? Well, okay, so the baking soda is a base while the vinegar is an acid. Oh, so when they mix, they form a solution that breaks apart into water and carbon dioxide. Yeah, then the carbon dioxide fills up the balloon and then we get this amazing end result. Wow, this was so much fun to make. We hope you enjoyed too. So this was Summer's Lab with Seth. And Stacy. Yeah. Thank you Bye. for watching. Make sure to subscribe. See ya. Stacy, do you like glitter? I love glitter and we have some amazing colors so I'm very excited. Yeah, today we're making a glitter fountain. Whoa. Yeah, so t for today's experiment we'll need vinegar, glitter, baking soda, a bowl, and food coloring. So let's get started. So first we're going to put the food coloring. Okay, I'll use blue. And I'll do pink. So we're going to put it in layers. So like a strip and yeah, then... A strip. Yeah, Now we're going to add the, the glitter on top. The glitter, my favorite part. So I'm going to do my favorite color. Okay, and I'm going to do my favorite color. So we're also going to do in strips, but like opposite. Okay, now we're going to add the baking soda. Okay. So we're going to cover the whole thing with baking soda. Everything. So, yeah. And there we go. Yeah, yeah let me make it flat. Okay, that's fine. A pancake. And then now we're going to add the, the vinegar. vinegar. Which is the really fun part. So we're going to add it on the sides. Yeah. Okay. Like that. Whoa! That is so cool. Wow. <laughs> Look it's at so that. Beautiful. I see the mixtures. Okay, now the blue is. Wow. Much. The blue is overpowering. Yeah. It's funny because it was the least. It had the least. I put the least. Blue. No, it was the most. Yeah, that's for the glitter. Ah, that's cool. Wow. The mixing. What if we add more? The green. Yeah, we should add more. Oh. Oh, oh, oh wow. wait, look at that. Wow. That is so cool. So, how does this work? Well, okay, so the baking soda is a base while the vinegar is an acid. When mixed, they form a solution that breaks apart into water and carbon dioxide. This creates all the fizzing as it escapes the solution, and then we get this. Whoa! Look at our hands. Air five. Comment down below if you like glitter. Hashtag glitter gang. Subscribe, <laughs> like, and uh, we'll see you in the next episode. See ya. Stay connected with me on the Super Semi YouTube channel.